<clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Okay, so next clock. Uh, this one I'll take no credit for anything to do with this clock, uh, apart from the fact I put it together, um, because um, this was actually a guide off the internet, um, and I followed it to the note. Uh, the only thing I did myself, I think I... No, I know I did. I did the displays for these. Um, there were templates on the guy's website, but um, I bought these little cheap uh, multimeters because they were like, oh god, they were so cheap on eBay. I think they were like, it was something ridiculous, like 99p each or something like that. Um, and there wasn't many of them left. Uh, I think it was some guy clearing out his, his stock in China of them. But either way, um, they're certainly not very good multimeters. They work, but they they are uh, chintzy as, as hell. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, there's an hour. Minutes, seconds, if you can see it, turn the light on. Uh, hours, minutes, seconds. Um, and the idea is that this advances along, and you can see the numbers along on there. Um, I know the camera doesn't focus very well up close, but um, but yeah. So this one goes to 12, 60, and 60. So it'll count through the time. Um, now, in the back, um, I should have brought a screwdriver, but I didn't. And I haven't even got one in the house, because I've just tidied up the uh, spare room where I do stuff. And I just put my last screwdriver away. And put it into the garage um, so I can't take the back off unfortunately but it's just a basic circuit board in there uh, with all the components and stuff and then there is actually a 9 volt battery in there that's flat um, so this is quite good because the guys designed it I think it's a 9 volt battery but it's designed with a battery backup so if the power goes off it'll still keep running now um, I don't think it's the guys design I think it's me I think I made an error when I was building it um, now, it does keep all right time for about three days, and then it starts slowly losing minutes and stuff like that. Um, the the needles don't quite go as far as they should on some of them, and then when you get them set perfectly, they'll slowly wane off and stuff like that. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but it took a lot of time um, getting this, doing these templates and learning how to design them on Photoshop to print them the right size and stuff. And then by the time I book these had come from China, and then I've got the parts to build the circuit board, and then this box from Maplin and all that kind of stuff, I'd sort of lost interest. And this was sort of towards the end of my clock making phase. Um, so I, I never went back to it. I'm sure it's just like a, a resistor's wrong in there or something's a bit a bit awry. Again, like I've said in other videos about some of these clocks, I, I keep meaning to go back to look at why there's something wrong with them. But I just never find the, the time. Um, so let's plug it in. Uh, it runs off a normal USB. Oh, yeah. Uh, this side there you go yeah look at that straight up there you go right so let's, let's start again i wish i put the leds in the back now so it illuminated the displays but yeah yeah there you go you live and you learn i get it wouldn't be a big job to do it but it, it means me doing some work in the house which i don't tend to do now because i'm always in the garage or the garden but yeah so if i turn it on you'll see the hours will go straight up to 12 and then down 60 and down 60 and down and that's so it'll show you that it's calibrated properly so you can tweak it um, to the right number. So let's plug it in. So you'll see hours goes to 12 and then down. Then minutes, a bit off and down. And seconds, ooh, it's a bit too far and down. So it'll go through now until the clock's set, basically. Um, and it'll count through. So you can see that. Seconds, you see it's slowly going up. I don't know if it'll be better with the light off. Um, Yep, so there you go, but it's not counting very well. Um, you'll see in the bottom corner here, there's a little red light that flashes to tell you that it's actually counting. Um, and then we'll see after a minute, this minute's hand should click up um, and um, count the time. Um, obviously, if I had my screwdriver, I could take the back, back off and set the time um, because you need to get inside it to set the time. Look, see, see at the end there, it just rose up all of a sudden. And then stopped um, that's part of the problem that I keep saying with this one I'm, I'm not sure what it is down and then that one should have moved up a, a, a tad but it didn't um, and that's because that one isn't quite set properly um, quite slow to start off and then you'll see it slowly rises and then it goes bang and goes down so I'm not sure what's wrong with it um, I'm sure someone that's watching um, might know but I haven't got a clue but it's an interesting clock uh, never get never grabs anyone's attention I don't know why um, I think it might be better if I'd illuminated the faces with a nice warm white LED or a nice um, warm green one like the old fashioned 
um, displays used to be on like record players and things. Um, but yeah, you never know. One day when it's a when it's winter, I might. Um, well, it's winter now, really, technically. Um, when it's spring, but it's cold, and I'm still in the garden. You never know. One day something might happen where I'm not in the garden or the garage, and I might get round to doing something with these. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, make sure you watch my other videos because, as you can see around here, there's all sorts of different clocks going on, um, and I've reviewed all of them and described how I made them and things. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be loads more videos like this coming out. Um, and make sure you like it and comment. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Cheers, bye.